Hi, I'm Phil from the Ghetto Gamers. What's up? Here to talk to you about the new Star Trek movie that came out. Uh, Star Trek 2009, directed by J.J. Abrams. Um, this will be a spoiler for some people that want to see it. For me, it was a little bit of a disappointment. No, that's an understatement. Big disappointment. I am a huge Star Trek fan. And the storyline, they completely changed and fucked up. They didn't care about the other movies, the series, how anything else went. They just invented their own stuff. Like this new Red Matter stuff that was no Star Trek TV episode or movie. And they destroyed the planet Vulcan. Like, what? What the hell? How do you destroy the planet Vulcan? It's essential in many of the Star Trek episodes and movies. Like in Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, where they go to Vulcan because they put uh, Spock's essence back into his body. And he was talking to his mother. And so many things that they changed. Uh, I was hoping for an epic Star Trek soundtrack did not get that from this movie at the end we received a little bit of Star Trek classic theme from this TV series but I was hoping for the Star Trek movie theme starting with Star Trek the motion picture from 79 up until 2002 with Nemesis which they held in every almost every single one of those movies they had that same song which they also had in Star Trek the next generation and they didn't give it to us. I was hoping for at least that. Eh, that's just a little piece that wasn't that necessary, but you know, would have been an emotional, emotional nostalgia feeling for me. Um, a couple other things that they changed was they didn't give in most of the. The famous lines, like, no engage, no make it so, um, the new Spock didn't even go live long prosper, no beam me up Scotty, oh I think Spock might have said live long prosper once, the new Scott, Spock, um, well, um, uh, they changed the storyline so much, Part of the Federation basically got destroyed. The Vulcans. Um, if this is not a prequel, this is an abomination. This has nothing to do with the other movies, like the great movies, Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, um, Star Trek II, Spock dies. Stuff like that. Um, they, they fucked up. Many other things that they changed. I don't even know where to begin. Um, one of the first things they did was they let Spock be captain before Captain Kirk, I mean James T. Kirk. What the hell was that all about? And they made Spock way too emotional. He was like fucking more emotional than James T. Kirk. And they had him hooking up with Ohura? Like, that's Kirk's bitch. Okay. Some of the things they changed was they made the Starship Enterprise, well, at least the insides engineering, you know, sort of like a damn factory. And this is like the future. It's not supposed to look all cruddy and shit like a fucking Ford motor vehicle factory. What the hell, man? And another thing is that they... I don't know. They, I didn't like the Spock character, really. He was too emotional. I liked him in the movies because he was like almost pure logic with the 
hint of emotion. It's, that's why you got happy when he burst into a little bit of emotion because it was like it was like an achievement for him which his mom helped him develop over time which they killed off his mom I was like what what the hell I was also hoping for them to go back in the future I mean back in time again and redo what they just did I mean undo what they just did but I was waiting, waiting for this to happen. No, they didn't undo it. I was like, what? Yeah. Um, some good points about the movie. It had great graphics. Um, for people that are new to the Star Trek series, haven't seen the other movies, or really not following Star Trek, they might enjoy it. I think they would enjoy it. But... If you're a Star Trek fan and you've seen all the episodes, you've seen all the movies, it's gonna kind of piss you off, or really piss you off, depending depending on you and your situation. Um, I don't know what they're gonna do if they're gonna make a sequel to this. What they're gonna do to change it? Really hope they don't call this a prequel. This is like a remake. Abomination. Um, I'm a huge Star Trek fan, and this really pissed me off. Um, I think I'll still buy it on DVD just for my collection, but that's it. Like, I'm not going to see it again in the movie theaters. I'm not going to support it any other way. I give this movie a D. Good graphics, interesting storyline with the return of the original Spock. Um, bad storyline, meaning that they changed the whole Star Trek storyline to do this. With their only their excuse to do it was just a couple lines of, oh, I went back in time and did this and that, and that's why things are different. No, it's not going to cut it. And they, they didn't really give everything the fans wanted, like the soundtrack and stuff like that, only a tidbit. Damn. Abrams!